Welcome back here to the new this morning. The Del Mar Thoroughbred Club says it plans to start its racing this summer. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Stella Escobedo. This is all pending the approval of the California House Racing Board. New this, Neta Rampour is live in Del Mar with what we are learning. Good morning, Neta. Good morning. I've spoken with the California Horse Racing Board and they say they will go ahead and approve whatever San Diego County approves. So they have approved horse racing to go on throughout various communities across California. And now Del Mar plans to start the racing season July 10th instead of July 18th. So we are here in Del Mar right in front of the track. Now the big difference will be no spectators and also this earlier start date. Now California Horse Racing Board will meet on June 11th to go over the details and to give their uh, vote and they say that's pretty much a technicality of course they're going to leave it up to San Diego County. Del Mar Racing will follow similar COVID-19 protocols that have allowed racing to go on throughout California and they say it's going to look different it's going to feel different but they say it's still going to be first class horse racing at Del Mar and they believe these unusual times that is something people can look forward to. So this would be their 81st summer season one like none other. They're planning that schedule change to start Friday July 10th with racing on Friday, Saturday and Sundays and then ending on Labor Day, September 7th. The new schedule will call for 291 races over nine weeks and that's six races less than last year. They've had inquiries from new trainers from all across the country interested in bringing their horses here to Del Mar and because the San Diego Fair is canceled this year, the track maintenance team can prepare racing surfaces earlier and they say they can have horses on site sooner than in the past. Josh Rubenstein, the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club president and COO released a statement saying in part that San Diego County's Health and Human Services Agency and its elected officials working in concert with state officials have done an incredible job ensuring San Diego stays safe during this difficult time. He went on to say we are grateful for their leadership guidance and positive feedback as we implement our safety guidelines that follow the stringent protocols that have been successful at California's other thoroughbred racing facilities. They also point out that wagering on Del Mar races will continue remotely online platforms like TVG. They also have off-track betting locations around the world. In fact, they've seen that surge here recently with the other races that have been going on throughout the country. And they also say, you know, horse racing uh, does employ a lot of people, so they believe this will help those people obviously keep their jobs. And uh, again, their plan is to start July 10th, but what you'll notice, those stands right there will be empty. No spectators allowed. We are live in Del Mar. We'll send it back to you.